Hi everyone, it's Chris Dick Hugh. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder tonight simply because I've had a couple people tell me in the last few videos that they couldn't hear me. So I'm going to do my best. Anyway, I'm very excited about this video because tonight I'm going to be sharing with you a new to me vendor that I learned about via YouTube and it is Nana Makes Sense and all of her information is right here in case you want to pause the video. I did hear about her from Tara Lynn. I believe she is actually Tara Lynn's mom, which is super cute. And with my first order, she sent me this really sweet personal note and I'm really, really excited to get melting this stuff. I've actually had this for a day or two now and have been kind of busy, not able to film it right away, and my husband and kids have already been asking me to dig into it and melt it. So I'm excited to get started. First of all, I just wanted to say this is of course not what the order came in. This is just um, one of the, the kind of boxes I use to store my wax in. Um, it just came in the little priority shipping bag and each little piece of wax I will say was individually wrapped which is super sweet I love when vendors do stuff like that so uh, when I opened it it was like opening a bunch of little presents and again I think that's a super cool touch all right it's almost two minutes in so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got I do not know the names of all of her shapes, so I'm sorry, Miss Barbara. I hope you'll forgive me for that. But this is this adorable little, like, it's almost like a loaf, but a teeny little baby one. And this is in Mexicone. And my kids said this looked like a Pop-Tart. My kids have already been kind of playing with the wax, so you can see it's a little bit smudgy. It did not come that way. It was very nicely packaged and very clean when it came. I love that she has the title of the scent, her website, her logo, which is easy to identify, and the pour date all on the packaging. Makes good use of her, as uh, Sasha-isms, Sasha would say, real estate. I got several of these little shape bags, and I think the website said these were between Four and like four and a half ounces but there's a lot of cute little shapes in there and this one is in vanilla buttercream this one legitimately does smell like like a buttercream icing it's really nice this bag is in sugar cookie now this is not my favorite sugar cookie oil from what I can tell but honestly it's really light on cold um, but this is probably going to be one of the first ones I melt to see what it's like on warm. Look at all those cute little shapes. I love them. This one I'm super excited about for blending purposes. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. Sorry, I have, as my little girl would say, a boo-boo. Um, I love the purple and like ivory color she used. And her molds are so cute in these shape bags. This is definitely something that I will get again from her are these cute little shape bags. And again, she has the pour date on there. And honestly, I know that some people get weird about wax that's not like freshly poured to order. I don't care. In fact, I kind of prefer older wax because it's gonna be cured and ready to go as soon as I get it. And again, she's very transparent with her pour dates, so. This is ready to melt. Oh, these are gonna fall all over the place, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is super cute and I'm sad because it did come in with the little shapes kind of loose, but look how huge this is, first of all. It's like massive. I don't even know how many melts I'm gonna get out of this. And this is in the Amish Baker. My entire family is dying for me to cut this up and melt it, so I will probably melt some of it soon. But that's one that I'm going to be saving the majority of it for fall. Coconut cherry pie. And these are the, I call them the jumbo, like the two ounce scent shots. 
This smells a little perfumey to me on cold, but my kids absolutely love it. So I am gonna probably go ahead and throw this in the melting basket for, for the main rooms and see how we like it on warm. Because again, it could totally change. Coconut for me does that. I don't know why on cold, I'm like, eh. And then usually when I warm coconut scents, they're fantastic. Okay, this is life, summer scoop type. Now I know that this is obviously a type, I don't know. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know who it's a type for, but it's got a really good, it's like strawberry candy kind of scent. It's almost that jammy, like strawberry white cake type of scent that I like, but not quite, but it's really good. And I am gonna melt this one this month while it's still summer in my head. As I've said in some of my other videos, it is officially fall as of August 1st, and no, I don't care if people think I'm basic for that. <laughs> okay, she sent me one, two, three, four, five of these little like single shapes, just as extras. Like how sweet is that? And again, they did not have this like gunk all over them. My kids have been playing with the bags. This one is one that my daughter has already claimed. It's berry breakfast. I actually don't care for this one because I don't like berry scents, but again, my daughter probably would have fist fought me for it, even if I wanted it. So, and it's colors of pink, which again, if you guys watched her little Munchkins wax melts video, that's like her favorite colors. Actually, I think Munchkin will probably end up with most of these single shapes. This is summer scoop type with strawberry rhubarb pie. I like this one not as much as just the regular summer scoop, but again, I think Munchkin has already laid claim to this one. Oh, it's gonna be out of frame, but oh well. This one is like a hot mess because my kids have been playing with it, but Starbucks peppermint mocha type. This one's so good. I will be getting more of that. I just, I love a good peppermint chocolate type of scent. strawberry bread. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. It is what it sounds like. It's a strawberry and a fresh bread scent. And this is my last one. I've got the shape kind of turned around. It's called Fruity Cottage. It's a hot pink and a teal scent. Well, not a teal, <laughs> teal scent, a teal color. Honestly, I could not tell you what the notes are and I really should have looked these up before I did this. This just smells really, really fruity, which I know is literally in the name, so it's not much help, but I don't know. I'll have to melt it and see what I think of it. It's probably not one I would have chosen for myself, but you never know on warm. Anyway, I'm going to put this back up where you guys can see it. Um, that is my whole, uh, my whole order. It was just a small haul because, again, this is a new-to-me vendor that I was just trying for the first time. But I'm really impressed on cold. I really like everything I got on cold, and I'm really looking forward to, as are my kids and my husband, on smelling it on warm. And uh, I will get back to you guys as far as performance goes, but I really love everything so far. And thank you so much, Miss Barbara, for sending me all of these goodies. And... Thank you to Miss Tara Lynn for recommending it. I hope you guys will give this vendor a try as well and let me know what your favorite scents are. And if you already have some favorite scents from Nana Makes Sense, just drop them in a comment below. All right, thank you guys again for being here and for stopping by my channel. And until next time, see you later.